thanks. Um, get started. Thank you for uh, for coming. Uh, you have the uh, you have the announcement that we sent out today. Um, this statement went to uh, students, faculty, and staff about 10, 15 minutes ago, and, and it got emailed to your office today. Um, in, we have uh, Phil Lyons and some cars are coming. Assistant Vice Chancellor for Student Life Services uh, Athletics is under his um, is under his peer review. Will be making a statement. Chancellor then will uh, will make a statement, and then we can take questions. So, Phil. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, UW Stout Athletic Director Dewey Nance could not be here today due to the passing of his father. Our thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. The days following the events of September 18th have been devastating to all those involved. Our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to the Bradley Simon family as they struggle with this tragedy. A tragedy like this, which involved members of the UW Stout hockey team, has had a profound impact on our players, our coaches, and our athletic program in general. The reality of the situation is that our student athletes are institutional ambassadors. They are leaders, scholars, and role models, and they are held to a higher standard. We're here today to inform the campus that based on a review of the UW Stout Student Athletic Code of Conduct, they were taking action against several individual UW Stout hockey players who were present in the night, who were present in the log jam the night of September 18th. As you're aware, two of those students, Britton and McGlasson, have been charged with assault and felony murder, both as a party to a crime in Bradley Simon's death. Neither student will play hockey for UW Stout, and neither will be eligible for reinstatement to the hockey team. Eight other hockey players have been informed that they will not be eligible to play for UW Stout this year. They will be eligible for reinstatement at the end of that period if approved by the athletic department and by the office of the dean of students. These actions were based upon violations of the student athlete code of conduct. It contains specific guidelines for behaviors both on and off the field, including action while engaging in high risk alcohol use. I want to emphasize that these actions are against individuals and not the hockey team itself. And now Chancellor Sorensen will make a statement. Yeah, I'd like also to thank you for coming and to welcome you, because we do all share uh, the deep sorrow for Brad Simon's family, and our thoughts and prayers are with them constantly. And I have accepted the recommendations of the, the athletic department concerning the decision not to allow eight individual members of the hockey team to play this year. I've also concurred in the decision not to punish members of the hockey team who were not in the log jam that night. This event, I have to add, uh, does not reflect who we are, <coughs> does not reflect what the hockey team is, yet we must and shall learn and grow from this deep tragedy. We began an aggressive program last year to combat high risk use of alcohol, and we are continuing that. We are redoubling our efforts in that area. This involves a broad-based coalition with the community, our students, our faculty, our staff. It includes a strong educational programming effort. It includes enforcement of policies and laws more stringently and focusing on the terrible consequences of high-risk drinking. We have one goal. That is to make this a safe environment for all, to promote safe behavior by our student body so that they can come here comfortably and know they'll get an excellent education in this safe environment. So again, we are shaken by this tragedy, yet we shall grow from this tragedy. 